Okay, real quick video on the car we're selling in this auction since I've had a million questions. Some people said they couldn't open the original link. That's fine. It is a 2005 Buick Park Avenue. Does it run? Yes. I just jump started it, pulled it out of the carport, um, drove it up and down this little driveway a few times. The brakes work. Are they highway safe brakes? I have no idea. Steering works. Is it highway safe steering? No idea. It did make a little noise when I, you know, worked it right and left, obviously, since it's power steering and it hasn't been run in a while. Exact mileage on the car. Or actually, let's do the interior. I know I took some photos, but this is as we left it. We didn't clean this car up. You get to clean it up. Back seat's in pretty good condition, too. Get a free uh, liter of Diet Dr. Bob, whatever that is. Um, get a couple masks. Let's see if the stereo works. Uh, do, 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 AM, FM. There you go. You got tunes. You got tunes. Let's shut the door. I think it was uh, 121,494 miles. I know nobody wanted to go with my exact 125 to 130-ish, but you, you gained some miles there too. Um, I think it's a good car. I really do. Uh, read the Carfax report. It entails the little accident he was in. I guess it was about a year or two ago. Um, it's got all the information, literally word for word, so there's no misinterpretation of what happened. They replaced the front left tire, I believe, and then the tie rods, and the, but they did test some other stuff. It's all right there in the auction, so read it. Whoever buys it, again, you're gonna do all the paperwork before it leaves this driveway because my clients have said they do not want any liability. If you're towing it out of here, that's even easier. You can get a car trailer or even a flatbed take it right on out of here the day uh, that we sign the uh, title over to you. The title is in the deceased's name, not one of the family members. So again, there are rules at Maryland Motor Vehicle on how to retitle a vehicle that is an estate vehicle. This is one of those times. Um, I always just tell folks you'll get it done. It's not that hard, but pr probably not going to get it done in one trip to the motor vehicle. We've got the original death certificate and the letter of administration, which you will also need when you walk into MVA. Really depends on who you're dealing with, to be honest with you. If it's somebody cool and you've got that and you got the title signed over to you, you're walking out of there with some new tags for it and you're going to be able to drive it um, right out of here. This house is being sold this coming weekend. They are closing. Um, so this car has to be removed by then. Uh, Wednesday, when I'm over here doing the pickup for the other items, I'm going to either meet the person here for the car as well, or it's just going to go out onto the street. But it still has to be gone by this Saturday. That's when they're closing. Um, so again, make no mistake, this car has to go. If you can't pick it up for a couple weeks, this is not the car for you. I think it's a pretty darn good car if you, if you put a little work into it. Again, I do not know what you need to put into it, but there she is. Um, as long as I'm shooting this video. I'll pop the hoods and somebody's going to say, I, I would like to see the engine, even though it really doesn't tell a lot of the story, but let's see what we got going here. All right. Battery even looks pretty new, but again, I had to jump it because it's been sitting. Belts look pretty good. I really think it's not a bad little car. But again, you're buying it as is. Make you know, as long as there's no misunderstanding, it's a it's an estate car. Nobody knows how well it drives. I know they drove it home from when they got it repaired, though. He did not get it towed home or anything, and I think he drove it after that. He wasn't in town a lot. He was only in town a few months out of the year. Um, he had a place out west, and then he had a place right here in Annapolis near the water. He came here for the summers. Drove it around. I can also tell you, just from maneuvering to get my jumper cables on it, since it was parked inside this carport, not pointing out like I've got it now, it's hard to get through and turn and, 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 and get this in here. For an older guy to do this, the car probably ran pretty well. 
because I had a heck of a time just maneuvering it around. So the steering's good. Like I say, the brakes seem fine for me on this driveway, but we are not guaranteeing anything. Again, read all the info on the Carfax. Anybody really interested, I'll text you the VIN number. You can even run your own Carfax, but I'm going to give you a copy of that when you buy it. That's about it. I'm pulling it in, and the new owner's going to come get it sometime this week, whoever the high bidder is. I think the bidding as of today was like 300 bucks, which is ridiculous. Um, so hopefully it goes for a little bit more than that, but high bidder gets it. And with uh, Spinney's Estate Liquidators, you never pay a buyer's premium on top of that. We're going to bill you right through the estatesale.org site, so make sure your credit card is up to date. And there's no uh, credit card fee. And that's it.